Welcome everyone to the Tactical Tavern. I'm your host Tomas Alas and in this video we are reviewing the Vanquest Gear Envoy 17 Tactical Messenger Bag. This is a high quality epic piece of everyday carry gear but is it worth the money? In this video we're going to answer just that question going over what features this has to offer, taking a look at both the pros and the cons to help you decide if this is right for you. Before we get started make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you won't miss future videos helping you save money and upgrade your gear. With that being said let's unpack this review. The Envoy 17 from VanQuest is packed with features and comes in with an overall length of 18 inches in length, 10.5 inches in height, and 8.5 inches of depth, but that's when it's moderately packed. In my testing of a baseline, it's roughly six inches in depth and pretty streamlined. It is comprised of 1000D Cordura, which is ultra, ultra tough, and even water repellent. The inside fabric is 200D and also made of 500D Cordura with ripstop nylon to increase durability. Zippers are locking YKK and feature Spartan zipper pools for added ease of opening in just about any condition. Something I also enjoy about the inside is that it is high visibility, allowing you to easily identify what it is that you need to grab or access so that way you don't get lost in the sauce because most bags are black and cavernous and you can easily miss some of your gear. In this bag, there is a total of 22 pockets and about 17 liters of space. Working our way around, starting on the front, I have found that these zipper pockets are great for organizing notes and business cards and also quick access to any charging equipment. The Velcro on the front also lends itself to be handy for any sort of patches you wish to represent. On either side of this bag, we have 32 ounce water bottle containers, and I love that you can equip this with other things, but it's streamlined. So if there's nothing in there, it's super flat with a bungee to keep it tight. But if you want to expand it, you also have a zipper to go even wider. On the bottom of the bag, we have some loops for added storage and securing it to any sort of other gear. We also have buckles that secure the flap closed. And what I really enjoy is that on the top of this, there's a small loop that also helps you with opening it on those Velcro closures. On the back end of the pack, we have a zippered pouch, which is great at securing any small things that you wish to keep close to your body, such as hotel keys or any small denominations of cash. There's also a larger double zippered pouch on the back, which you can store your computer in because it is padded or even some Kevlar body armor. Another really ingenious thing that VanQuest did is they left this slot back here available so you can sling this over your rolling suitcase and make travel so much more easier. The same feature that makes it great at carrying it on your luggage also makes it an impromptu shield going against any arm combatants with an edge weapon or impact device. I think it's great, but you can also increase that if you have some of that Kevlar in there. It could increase your chances of survival, and I like that it gives you a little bit of an option. On the top of the bag, we have two padded grab handles that lead down towards the zippered pocket, which is about seven inches in depth. Another ingenious thing that they did is that they gave you a quick access into the bag without having to use the Velcro, which could be noisy depending on the situation, but you use those Spartan zippered pulls and it'll open the bag so you can access it from the top. Opening up the bag, the first thing you're going to notice is the variety of pockets and organizational equipment to help keep your gear secured safely. You'll also notice that orange interior, which again quickly helps identify the gear and tools that you're looking for, which can help save you time. Seriously, just look at all these organizational slots and pockets. Some of them have Velcro and others have zippered closures to give you the best of both worlds. In the main compartment, we have a variety of different things that you can do here. There are organizational slots and pockets that you can slap into the Velcro, and it can easily store camera gear, tech equipment, manila folders, clothing, and additional survival gear. The main carry system for this Envoy 17 messenger bag is the GT Cobra sling strap, and there's even a removable shoulder piece and textured fabric to help it stay secure while you're moving around. Utilizing the carry handle and the shoulder strap is convenient and good for longer periods of time, but I really think this is meant for more of an urban everyday carry or business type setting where you're walking to and from in shorter bouts. This bag certainly has a lot to offer, but the only downside I found is all the pockets. Now I know that might sound ridiculous, but if you're just getting into gear, there is so many pockets in here, it's possible that you could forget something in here, especially if you're traveling in and out of different environments that may be more security inclined. You do not want to forget anything in here, so make sure to double and triple check your bag especially if using it for a variety of different missions. It's really not even a bad thing. I love the variety of pockets in here. It's just more of a PSA to double check your gear and make sure you don't leave anything behind. Something I enjoy doing is utilizing the EDC Maximizer gear organizers within this Messenger Envoy bag, so that way I can keep everything tidy, organized, and readily accessible. This Envoy 17 is absolutely incredible, and it is VanQuest, so it is ultra tough. I highly recommend it. At the time of this review, you can find these for around $217. They come in multicam black and gray as seen 
seen here. I can easily recommend this for any photographers wanting to keep their gear safe and readily accessible to business meetings and professionals, or maybe someone just going undercover and wanting to have a full on med kit ready to go. Do me a favor and let me know what would you use this bag for in the comment section down below and what other gear would you love to see reviewed here on the channel. If you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful in any way, shape or form, please make sure to drop a like, share and subscribe and turn on post notifications and follow us on Instagram at Tactical Tavern so you won't miss updates on new videos helping you save money and upgrade your gear. With that being said, my name is Tomas Salas. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, be prepared, be practical, stay tactical.